Hi, welcome back. Now we're going to look at commands at Dragon Professional Individual and I'm going to break it down into four parts it's because we have various ones, for example, France scripting step by step, auto text and graphics if you require, and also you can use macros recording. So we're going to start with the first option. So I want you to go to the top to the Dragon Bar to it expands and select tools. And I want you to go down to the middle, we can go to manage custom commands, but I want you to go first to add new command. This will bring up a window. Now when you're adding new commands, you've got a choice down to command type here. And again, we have four choices there that you can use. I'm going to go over them in different videos for you, but auto text and graphics, so you, as the command says, by using the command you can have loads of text come up or specific graphics. It could be good if you're doing a degree to bring up specific diagrams and that quickly. Macro Recorder, not as good as step-by-step -step advanced scripting, but an easy way to create commands. So you have to do it in real time and record on what you actually want it to do. It could be to open up certain applications, change settings. It's a bit slower, but it still works pretty well. Step-by-step, -step, which is shortcuts, and advanced scripting when you use simple commands like send dragon keys and apt bring up. So I'm going to start with the first option, which is auto text and graphics. Select that. So first we have to decide what we want to do. So I'm going to give it a command name. Before I do that, I'm going to go to Google Images and I'm going to select an image. So let's say you're doing anatomy and I'm going to choose human anatomy here. Now I'm going to do a right click and select copy image with a left click. Go back to Dragon. and I'm now going to paste it in the content option, Control V. Next thing I'm going to do is come up here and give it a command. So I could say open anatomy. And there's my command, I can give it a description, but I think the command is also like the description anyway, but you can add that. Now group, you can choose what groups you want to create it in, because you can create different groups, different folders in your commands that you can access them, but we'll look at that at a later date. So now I'm ready to go. So I want it to work globally, that means wherever I am the command will work. Application Pacific, you can work it in a Pacific application, so for example if I click Browse, I could choose a program where I only want it to work in Word or Excel so you can select that if need be. And last of all, Windows Pacific. So again, you can choose your application and what window needs to be open as well. Don't worry about recognizable in states, I'll show you that with the advanced scripting later. But I'm going to leave it globally so it works everywhere. Happy with that? I'm going to click Save. Now I'm going to open my Word document, wake up, switch to Microsoft Word, open Anatomy go to sleep and it will bring up your diagram quickly for you that you can work off but we can also do text as well wake up switch to dragon bar tools manage custom commands edit go to sleep now I'm going to delete that diagram and we can add text to that as well so let me go back on to images and what we'll do is find some text that we could use now this could be a, a text diagram, it could be any information you want I said you use the first site that I find and I should grab some any text there so I'm going to use Asian Medicine and I'm going to highlight a paragraph, Control C go back to Dragon and I'm going to paste it in the window now really important here when you're doing this I want you to come to the bottom choose whether or not you want plain text because depending on what you set here it will change depending on what fonts you've got in Word so I'm going to choose the fonts Algerian and I'm going to do size 24 and click OK now I'm going to leave plain text off and I'm going to click save so when I say open anatomy in a Word document see what we get wake up switch to Microsoft Word delete that open anatomy go to sleep as you can see it's brought up the actual fonts and format that I chose now if we go back again select to manage custom commands and let's open up anatomy by double tapping or clicking the edit key now watch when I choose plain text and do the same thing wake up select tool delete that open anatomy go to sleep if you use plain text then use the default fonts you're using in your application so there's two simple ways of using it but there is more 
they've also got a variable option let me show you so again I'll go to tools I'm going to go add new command I'm going to leave it in auto text and graphics but I'm going to use this option here where it says insert variable so you want to create an application form or just create parts of a document where you need to fill in information you can jump to them so we can do that let me show you how that works so I put my name in but I'm going to add a variable to that I'm going to click insert variable so now I can put a default value and leave that blank click enter then I could put for example address again I can add insert variable so what this means is when we export it and I use this command I can jump to those variables so I'm going to show you that quickly so you get an idea so I'm going to leave plain text because I want the same formatting I'm just going to call this a template as a command I find you don't need to train it it seems to work pretty well but any issues you can click the train button and train it just to make sure it's picking up that command so we'll give it a go so I'm going to click save wake up new paragraph a template next variable previous variable Henry next variable 61 heaven close go to sleep and you see by using that command it will jump to the variables you created now if you don't want to use those default brackets I want to come up to drag and bar select tools go straight down to options and I want you to select the tab commands so there's our variable so any text between there will be a variable blank space if you like that you can add your information in so we can change them but you have to remember when you change them we couldn't have two symbols the same let me show you so for example I do two end signs if I click apply it won't work because it's telling me they have to be different if you like open bracket close bracket or two different symbols they don't have to be open bracket or close bracket so I'm going to put in a quote as the end variable and an end sign is the first variable so I've got and and quote if I click apply it will ask you to shut down so HTML support to take effect and so click OK so again go up to your option with tools manage commands I'm going to open my template and edit it so now my values won't work these options here brackets because I changed them Hope that works for you. In my next video, I'll be looking at macro recording. See you then. Thanks for watching.